Hello, my name is Hector and this is a tutorial on how to get custom paintings in Bibliocraft. Now, I released a tutorial about Bibliocraft paintings, but it didn't show you how to make custom paintings. So, that's what we're going to get over today. Now, you need a few things uh, for this tutorial. You need the Bibliocraft jar file, okay? So, you can get that from Bibliocraftmods, I think, .com. Uh, and various other places, uh, Minecraft forums, such things. But once you have that, you need another program, uh, and I'm going to be using pzip. So it's basically any kind, of, any kind of like archiver, unzipper, that kind of thing. pzip is free. I'll put a link in the description. There are plenty of others though as well. So what you want to do is you want to open as archive, okay? And then you will get this, and you need that file right there, okay? Bibliocraft Paintings Example Resource Pack dot zip. So go ahead and extract that. We're going to extract that to the desktop, nice and simple. There we have it. And then once we have that, once we have that, we want to extract that here. So you should get four files. So there it is. And there we have the four files. Okay. Now we'll come back to that in a moment. What we need now is a custom painting to put in. So let's, let's have a look for something. Um, I'm going to go for son of, oh, son if I can spell, uh, Son of Man, um, which is the painting that my Minecraft skin is based on. Uh, you can see here, this is this fella here, okay? So, images, Son of Man, there we go, there we have it. Uh, I think that one looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, so, what we need to do, save image as, and there you go. And most likely you'll get this in a JPEG. And what we actually need, what we actually do need is um, we need it to be in a PNG. So if we go here, if we open up uh, Paint, something like Paint, most Windows programs have Paint. Um, if you're on a Mac, uh, I'm not quite sure. I think there is a program on Linux, then you have loads of options. Uh, and GIMP is always a free. I think that runs on all uh, platforms, which is a really good program. So we're going to just drop that in here, uh, uh, open this up and save as, and there we have PNG picture. So you can just save it or just click it like that. Nice and simple. Let's get rid of this. And now we have a PNG. Uh, you can see there we go, PNG. And that is what we want. So we'll get rid of the JPEG, causes less confusion. So we'll back to this assets file now. I'm just going to open it up. Open it up again, open up the textures, and then custom paintings. There we go. You can see, put custom paintings here. So we're going to copy this over, put it in here. Magritte 16, that will do nicely. Okay. So once we have that, you can put, I think, pretty much as many paintings in there as you want. Um, it's, I, I've not noticed or seen anywhere where there's a limit. So once you do that, close that up. And now, this is the important part. You want to highlight all four of those. Okay and then just add to zip okay and it'll zip it up for you nice and simple and there you go it's called desktop but let's rename that to custom just so we know uh, nice and simple now once you have that custom zip what you want to do is you want to go to your minecraft folder okay go to the resource pack folder there we have it, and you just want to dump it in there like any other resource pack, okay? Uh, and then we're just going to start Minecraft up. Right, once you have Minecraft loaded up, you need to go into your resource packs and just dump that custom zip at the top. Right at the top, uh, it won't interfere with any other resource pack that you might have going on, but make sure it's at the top. Uh, so all the paintings come up, press done and then go into your world. Now I have a custom world set up. Got a painting press, get a canvas, whack it in there, and there you see in the custom files it has the painting. So let's transfer that. There we have it. And then let's put it in the frame and let's just make that a little bit bigger. That should do it. And there we have it. That's how you get custom paintings. Um, so Thank you very much for watching. If this was a massive help to you, um, then please leave a like, leave a comment. It's very much appreciated. And that's all I have time for for this episode. I've been Hector. This has been a custom painting in Bibliocraft tutorial. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.